Some of the country's best anti-terrorism fighters are right here in North Texas. Arlington's canines have a skill that almost no other departments have. Joel Thomas is live at Globe Life Park to show us what they can do. Yeah, and if I came to a venue like this and they wanted to inspect my bag, a canine unit would have the dog come up, sniff it, and then the dog would sit back and wait for orders. But Arlington's canine units actually have the canine leading the handler through crowds. And if you just so much as walk close to them, you've already been examined for explosives. They are vaporweight dogs, so they have the ability to track people through crowds that have uh, uh, explosives on, on them. Most of the Arlington Fire Department canines have a skill most other bomb detection dogs don't. They can sniff the air in a crowd and pinpoint someone with explosives. The person passes by within a, a certain distance. The dog has the ability to pick up that odor and then track that odor through the crowd and help us uh, identify the person that has that uh, has it on them. Good boy. They're called vapor wake dogs because they're trained to keep their noses in the air and sniff for the smell of explosives left in the wake of someone walking by. The handler has to be in tune to how their canine partner is reacting. Maybe they're not right on the explosive or um, what the odor that they're smelling. So we have to be aware of their change of behavior, what they're doing to let us know, hey, something's close by. The dogs have worked Super Bowls, World Series, presidential visits. These teams are constantly busy. The training every day, uh, the call outs after hours, and, and the workload that comes in on the weekends and, uh, and holidays uh, because of events that are taking place in the city is a huge demand for the handler and the canine. Now, the dog trainers say it takes 18 months to train these dogs, so they're hard to come by. But Arlington has seven of them, and they want more. That's because of all the places that are vulnerable or, or at risk, rather, for attack in North Texas. 40% of them are right here in the entertainment district. Reporting live, Joel Thomas, CBS 11 News.